And now, well, for the first time, Molana Rumi is challenged really to think about, to explain this, this realm. And he answers by saying, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he tasted a little of the ma'rifah of who Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is. And I use the word ma'rifah because al-ma'arif is the name of the book that his father had written. Sheikh Bahauddin, when he was young, had written a book, but he didn't let his son read it. He didn't read it until he got to Konya and his father had died. And it was his student, Burhan Adin of Haqqiq, who gave him the book and taught him the book called Ma'arif. Ma'rifa. He also has a series of poems called Ma'arif. And this concept of knowing who Allah is, is different to knowing about Allah. There are verses of Quran which describe Allah. There are things that we can speak in terms of Aqeedah. These are things that we learn. He's the first, he's the last. He's manifest and he's hidden. He has these sifat. He lives. He can hear. He can see. He has power. These are all the things that if you came to Medina Institute, you'd study. But do they mean that you know who Allah is? He said that the Prophet ﷺ had understood who Allah was. And because he understood, he wanted more. He understood that he didn't understand and he wants to understand. So his state was about going higher and higher and higher. And the Prophet ﷺ never stopped his ascension, his rising in Ma'rifah. And so when he went on the great night journey, he went to the very limit of Ma'rifah, to the point where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stopped the angel Jibreel from going any further. He got to what was called the Sidratul Muntaha, the furthest low tree. And the low tree is a symbol of knowledge. This is the limit. And Sayyidina Jibreel says, this is where I stop. I cannot go any further. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam turned to him and he says, A khalil yatruk khalilahu. Can the beloved one leave his beloved behind him? And then Sayyidina Jibreel says, I cannot go forward and I will not go back. But the Prophet ﷺ continued and his journey was always about rising and rising and rising. So he, in his mind, in his state, never knew who Allah was completely because you can never know. Whereas Abu Yazid al-Bistami had tasted something of what Allah was and this was enough for him. So he'd reached his ceiling. And then he explained this to Shams at Tabrizi. And then he realized what he was saying to this man was not from books. He was now talking to this man from his heart, from his state, from who he was. And he realized this is the man that I've been waiting for. This is the thing that's been missing in my life. And at this point, his life changed completely. He was a scholar. He was a great scholar. He was a spiritual man. But now he had love. He loved this man. And his son, his son said, at that moment, he loved Shamsa Tabriz and he left all other loves behind him. Shamsa Tabrizi, he said, at that moment, he found what he was looking for in his life which was love.